Hello. <coughs> I feel rubbish. I've got some kind of buggy virus thing and I feel rubbish. I just fancy turning the camera on and having a chat. I had loads of things that I wanted to talk about and then as soon as you turn the camera on you get all flustered and you're like, oh I don't know what I need to talk about. Which is, I think why, I think that's why I do these little bits at the beginning because it sort of settles me into the video and then once you get into comfy zone and you can talk about what you want to talk about, got through the nervousness of, oh put the camera on, I better deliver. Do I worry about my quality of my content that comes out? It's funny how you think things as you go along. Hi, <clears throat> my name is SMS number one and I have to do a shout out to The Grid, who sent me a message saying, I watch all of your stuff, I want you to give me a shout out. Not something I usually do, but there you go, The Grid. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Virus thing, got fucking bites and crappy stuff and itchy stuff going up my shins and bleh. luckily I don't think I've got any real proper work till Tuesday now. That's as good as it is bad, trust me. Um, oh. It's not a conversation I can have on here. But the fact that it is a conversation that I can't have on this platform kind of tells you what an awesome big crap thing is. Uh, someone said that I should take all of my Optimus Primes and put them in one place and take photos and possibly a video. I think in order to do that, I would have to have three clear hours just to do that, to get everything downstairs, to get it cleaned on the table, do the video, put it all back up here and then try and fit everything back into those spaces. Not necessarily where they are, I don't mind having a little bit of a change, but there is a certain way in which they have to go because you've got to have the big bots at the back. And I like big bots. None of this teeny weeny stuff, I love the big bots. Um, <clears throat> I've had a couple of conversations recently about Transformers and stuff like that and there's been a couple of videos recently and one of the things that I've noticed is that particularly my face twin, um, Dave Shotton, who we had a bit of a laugh about that, and I can't even remember why it's funny that we are face twins, but he, in his video, in his, in his uh, profile picture on his YouTube page, where he's doing this, he's got no eyebrow, that's mine, but he's like that, and he's looking up, and he's all bald on the top, but there's, we look kind of similar, and we just because mm. he struggles halfway through a sentence because he thinks about something else that he wants to say and then he's like, oh, once upon a time I... Oh, the car needs some oil. Tuna. <laughs> oh, it's all going all over the place. Digressed. He spoke about something the other day. He said, I've got this, I'm never going to buy the other one. And then the other day he bought the other one. And the other one is much nicer and I want to know if he agrees. I'm getting around to talking about the, the toy, but now... There might be other topics. <laughs> Who knows? In one of these, lighting's really bad. You probably can't see a bloody thing that I'm doing anyway. Um, <clears throat> I owe Mr. Shotton not an apology, but it was part of a conversation where we that we had over Facebook, which is okay. Uh, that smokescreen from Transformers Prime was a horrible, horrible figure. At which point I went, no, it's a great, great figure. It has flaws, but it's a great, and he, and he just said, I can't do the transformation. And then loads of other people piped up on the Transformers YouTube community going, I, I can't do the transformation. And I sat there stupidly going, you, f you bunch of wetties, wetty, wetty, woo, woo. It's easy here, I'll, look, I'll get mine and I'll show it and I'll prove to you. Man, was I wrong? Oh, and I know the bit that I know how to fix. I know how to fix the bit that other people can't do. And it still took me 15 minutes of just sitting there going, mm, mm. oh, no, no, no. It's prow. <laughs> la, la, la. To squeeze the arms into the top of this to make it. It's just, it, it has to be. So, I'm not sure if you can see much in there. Can you see, if I put that there and do that, inside, up under here, 
you can just see the way the arms are sat flat and see the 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 fisties poking let me see yeah fisties poking out underneath that arm has to be in the perfect position and if it is in the perfect position there's still a good chance that once you get everything settled down you won't be able to push it into car shape because everything these things at the back will just continuously pop off it's so hard it's so angry it's so shit but it's really really nice this toy is so much better than smoke screen i keep wanting to call him sideways and that's from revenge of the fallen um <clears throat> he comes with a gun <clears throat> it's just a gun it's more of a harpoon i'm not really that keen on it, it goes miles if you let it off don't um <clears throat> underneath he has if i do it properly not much kibble you you wouldn't know that's a head you wouldn't know those are legs there's no hand showing I like it, it's good. It's even got a bit of extra detail under here just to show it's got like a cow catcher road protector thing so you can hit but slap bottom and <laughs> sparks will come out from underneath because it's a racing car and they do that sort of thing. It's got a lovely light bar on the top which you can probably see signing through the side for a little bit but I haven't got a back on my camera, I've only got a front so I don't know what's going on, it's a guess. Uh, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's got orange lights, it's got a lovely Autobots logo on the front and then on the side which is like a um, a police autobot like a prowl should be and dad on there it's good i like it to make it a robot is this on camera <laughs> i'm doing a review aren't i let's begin take this bend it down <laughs> That's the only bit that we miss. No one really gives a shit. I've got a Gundam. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I wish I had a train of thought. Mine's not even a train. Do you know what my train of thought is? It's one of those things where you see off of like the 50s, which is just a car and a stick in the middle with a little thing. And you've got to go, ooh, ooh. Two men doing like that to go three mile an hour where it would have been less work to just fucking run. <laughs> That's what my brain is. A uh, little Huckleberry Finn sat on the corner with his pail of lunch over his, because he probably, mm, oh, whatever. Um, <clears throat> we're going to take this, we're going to move that like that. We'd like at this moment to open the doors, but it doesn't really work like that. You've got to just be patient. So we're going to just pull everything apart. Uh, we're going to dig our fingernails, which worries me because it's black, matte black paint on white plastic. It will chip. Uh, come on, you fucker. <laughs> Woo, there you go. See, I'm going to flip the bonnet like that. I'm going to flip the bonnet like that. And then we're going to take the bonnet pieces and put them up on the top of the car as he demonstrates with getting his tiny little girly sized hands in the way. Uh, this is the bit. Right. Apparently, it's impossible to transform this toy without popping the shoulders off. Okay, so I'm going, and, and, and it struck me that I don't pop the shoulders off on it. Maybe it's because I had smoke screen first, and I had a bit of a practice with him. Who knows? Uh, so we're going to take that, okay? Then we're going to fake chest, I'm afraid. So we're going to put some fake chest up there. And before we do that, I'm going to do the head reveal now, because that's just sort of the way it is. I'm going to move that up there for what is, quite frankly, one of the greatest head sculpts I've pretty much ever seen. And some of the and quite possibly some of the best light piping there actually is in Transformers. We're talking as good as a G2 rotor storm. Um, if I do that and that, or even that and that, you can see how good that light piping is, even from just doing that, because it's just magnificent. I hope that turned out well, otherwise that was just a minute of me looking like a weirdo. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that, and that's where we are, okay? Cool. So I haven't popped the shoulders off, and all you've got to do with the shoulders is, can you see these two little pegs here, like that? You've got to take that up there, you've got to turn that, and then you it, the, that peg will fit in the spokes of the alloy wheels. So you've just got to fit them in there and turn it round a bit and they'll pop in. So you do that on there, you do that on there. And there we go. See, we're off to the races. So you've got shoulder, top of the arm, bottom of the arm, and then these are on a 
hinge, so we're going to move that around. You've all seen this anyway. If you've got the other, if you haven't got one, you've got the other version of this toy. You know what it's like. Now this is the bit that I like. This is just interesting. This bit. I don't know why, but it just tickles my fancy. It's a shame they couldn't have do something like this with Bumblebee from the movies to have those little window things that he's supposed to have off. So he's got four wings instead of two. Do you know what I mean? It really bothers me that I hate it. There's only like two models in existence that have that feature. I've got to get one of them, even though it's a, just a stinking Bumblebee. But there's nothing wrong with Bee, really, is there? It's just the hype that people don't like. It's not Bumblebee himself. You're going to do that. <clears throat> and what I did is these bits, which are lovely, lovely wings, are going to pop into that hook there, like that. Get all carried away with the talky talky again. Turn, split, drop drop and then you're going to take the inside of the shins push them around there slot them in nicely where they do sort of they tab in really nicely there you go pop see all good prowl <coughs> nino 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 he's so good look at him how can you oh. to say you don't like this figure he's got more character than so much of the Generations line, and I even prefer this to my Rhinox because I thought the other day that Rhinox is just that was dick waving when I bought Rhinox. I didn't really give a fuck about it. I've kept the box and all that. Oh, have I? No, I haven't. I've just got the toy and the weapons. I don't enjoy it. It doesn't come from a period of Transformers that gives me a boner, so it's not. It's like, oh yeah, I've got that toy because I'm a proper collector, and then I realised that I was a twat because I bought something that I didn't really want. But now I'm never going to sell it because I've never sold a Transformer. If anyone's got a transparent galaxy convoy they want to swap for it, <laughs> that would be lovely. Um, <clears throat> this is Prowl. He does looks like that. He's very skinny from the side. He's very hollow from the back. I'll forgive all of that sort of stuff because from the front, he's absolutely mercilessly good. He's got little teal bits there. He's got blue lights, blue lights painted, orange lights in reality, and orange light piping. So... Um, it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference, but it would have been nice. He's got all of this crap hanging off there. It's not brilliant. There is a way of doing it. Darth Devious, who's got so many subscribers. It's unbelievable. I'd love to know what his secret is. I've been thinking about subscribers lately. I think that's a different video. Um, <clears throat> he's got a mod where you can take these off and put them back on again. I can't really be bothered to do it. I love this, it's very, very nice. It's not left my side. It's never actually made its way to the prime shelf. A, because there's no room, and B, because I don't want to let it go. I like it, it's it's one of those, this is my within reach watching the movie transform it a couple of times, robots. You know, you know, it's not just me. I hope it's not just me. Hello, the grid. Um. <coughs> My name's been SMS number one. I was having a nice little chat with Monkey. He's all good. Uh, Robert did a video which I haven't watched yet, so I'm going to have to go and watch that. Waspy did his uh, guzzle video. And uh, it was only just as it happens that I got to play with that new guzzle toy the other day. It's a very, very good, lovely piece of crack. My voice is very deep because I don't feel very well. Uh, oh, ah! Mm. How you like me now? Oh, these things, these things. I mean, oh, let's compare it to a transformer. The wrist will spin, which is great, but it's actually on a like a mushroom joint. The fingers will move independently as well as the thumb. It will do a complete bend there. It will go all the way round. The shoulders will do anything you want them to. Anything does anything you want it to. It's like a cheap hooker. The head is beautiful and works on a double joint and it'll go left and right and all that sort of stuff. This isn't very well built, by the way. It's just sort of thrown together because I had a really good time doing it. I might take it apart and paint it. It's got, look at the articulation. It's actually got articulation on the waist and then it's got an extra flex on the on the waist. And the legs will go all, um, fuck off. <laughs> all the way out there and then they'll bend all the way back like that and the heel will go up and the toe will go down and... And the wings on it are just, the wings will go, they'll go like that, and then they'll go like that as well. So, I mean, if you, I might get a stand for him, because you can do this great big sort of, you get the Gundam pose, don't you, where you go like that, and you go like that, 
and you sort of put the legs over each other and you've got the Gundam pose where he's flying. Um, <coughs> Built the weapons yet, I've really got to. <coughs> my name's been SMS number one, my voice is very deep. Uh, big up, big up all your bad selves. I don't say it enough anymore. I do mean it genuinely. Sup, big up.